Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install ESXi interactively on a host. Interactive installations are recommended for small deployments of fewer than five hosts. Interactive installation involves booting the installer from a CD or a DVD and also from a USB device or by Pixie booting the installer from a network location. There are other ways that you can install an ESXi host, but in this video we look at interactive installation using a CD or a DVD or from a USB device. So in a typical interactive installation, you would boot the ESXi installer and respond to the installer prompts to install ESXi to the local host disk. So before we start the installation, let us talk about the hardware requirements for installing ESXi. So when it comes to processor, your host should have 64-bit processor and it at least requires two cores. And the CPU should support LAHF and SAHF CPU instructions. NX or XD bit should be enabled on the CPU. And to run the 64-bit virtual machines, you need to have Intel VTX or AMD RVI feature enabled on the CPU. When it comes to memory, a minimum of 4 GB is required, but 8 GB is recommended. Okay, so when it comes to disk storage, uh, basic SCSI and RAID controllers are supported and SATA disks connected behind supported SAS controllers or supported onboard controllers are also supported for installing ESXi 5.5 but SATA disks will be considered remote and not local so these disks will not be used as a scratch partition by default because they are seen as remote and SAS disks are supported for installing ESXi 5.5 and for storing virtual machines on VMFS partition. And you can also use a dedicated SAN disk on a fiber channel or iSCSI network to install ESXi 5.5. And you can also use USB devices to install the ESXi 5.5. When it comes to networking, one gig ethernet controller is minimum and 10 gig ethernet controller is recommended and for a complete list of supported processors memory disk storage and networking you can visit the vmware compatibility guide at www.vmware.com/resources/compatibility you can download the esxi 5.5 iso image from the vmware download page which is www.vmware.com slash download. Once you download, you can burn the ISO file on a CD or on a DVD. In this demo, we'll be installing ESXi 5.5 on a host. We have already downloaded the ISO file, burnt it on a CD, and I have mounted the CD on a host. So we'll be booting the CD using the CD drive. All right, I'm going to select the ESXi 5.5 standard installer from the boot menu. Now it's loading the ESXi 5.5 installer. Okay, so on the welcome screen, I'm going to press enter to continue. I'm going to accept the end user license agreement by pressing F11. Now it's scanning for the available devices and it's going to take some time. Okay, so we are going to install ESXi 5.5 on a local disk, but if I had a remote disk or a LUN, I could have installed on a LUN. But in my case, I'm going to install this on a local disk. So I have selected the local disk and I'll press enter to continue. For the keyboard layout, I'm going to select US default. So I'm going to press enter to continue. I'm going to set the root password and I'm going to confirm it again. And I'll press enter to continue. 
now the installer is gathering additional system information and again it will take some time you can see that the installer is going to install ESXi 5.5 on the local disk and it's giving a warning saying that the disk will be repartitioned so if you have any data on the disk everything will be deleted in my case I don't have anything on the disk so I'm gonna press F11 to install okay you can see that the installation has begun and it will take some time Okay, the installation has been completed and you can see that the ESXi 5.5 has been successfully installed. So we have to remove the installation disk before rebooting which I have done. So I'm going to press enter to reboot. So you can see that the host has not been configured yet. We have not assigned a static IP address or a host name. So to do that, we have to press F2 to customize the system. So I'm going to type the root password of the host. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to configure the management network. I'm going to select configure management network and I'll press enter. Right now we only have one network adapter which is already selected so I'll go back and we don't have any VLAN set for this host so I'm going to go into IP configuration and I'll set a static IP address the IP address that I'm going to set for this host is 192.168.10.12 and the subnet mask would be 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168.10.254 and I'll press enter. We are not going to use IPv6 so I'm going to disable this and I'll select the DNS and the primary DNS that I'll be using is 192.168.10.1 which is my domain controller's IP address and the host name that I'll be using for this host is ESXi5B and I'll press enter and I'm gonna set a DNS suffix for this host which is livemusictech.local which is the domain name of my domain I'll press enter and I'll press escape now we got to apply the changes and reboot the host so I'm going to press yes all right the host is going to restart and when it comes back up the host will be configured with the new IP address and the host name Okay, you can see that the host has been configured with the host name and with the static IP address. So this is how you install ESXi 5.5 on a host and this is how you are going to do the post configuration of an ESXi 5.5 host. Thanks for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.